Hi guys, so for today's video, I decided I am going to do a Q&A video. So on Instagram, on my stories, I told you guys to ask me anything and I would go through and look at the most frequently asked questions and try to answer as many questions as I could for you guys in a video. So that is this video today. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram too, make sure to because I'm always posting on there, especially on stories and stuff. But anyway, I've never done a Q&A before. So for some reason, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why, but I'm also really excited to kind of go deeper with you guys, share a little bit more about myself. So let's just get started. The first question I got, I got a lot of questions. People were asking me a lot like, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? How did you start your YouTube channel? Why? People were wondering what my job is, stuff like that. My job is being a YouTuber, this is what I do full time is make YouTube videos, which I think is so much fun and really cool. The whole reason why I started my channel is because, or like what inspired me to, is actually, for those of you that don't know, I have two older brothers and they both have YouTube channels and I think that really inspired me. They both have had YouTube channels way longer than I have. I think it's been maybe almost like four years for me, but they had YouTube cha channels like way, way, way before me. They actually both have gaming channels. So I always thought that what they did was really cool and I always thought it was really interesting, but I knew that I wasn't gonna do gaming or anything. So as I started to watch more and more like YouTube videos, I was watching like a lot of beauty and hair videos and stuff like that. I think I just felt like, you know, I really wanna do this too. I think it would be really cool. So I just started doing it and I've loved it ever since. And someone was asking if I had any advice for starting a YouTube channel. So basically when I started, I just looked up a lot of YouTube videos on how to do anything that I wanted to do. When I first started this, I had no idea how to edit a video. I really didn't even know how to work a camera or anything. And looking back at some of my old videos, like they're completely blurry. I had no clue what I was doing, but I just figured it out because it was something that I really, really wanted to do. The best advice I would have for you guys is just, if it's something that you really want, just keep doing it and keep learning and just try to figure it out as best as you can. If you really enjoy it and if it's something that you really love, then you'll continue to do it and just be yourself. I think that's pretty typical, what everybody says, but try to be yourself, because it's actually kind of hard to be yourself in front of a camera, but yeah, do the best that you can. And then someone else asked, what would I be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube? So that's a really good question. So before I was doing YouTube, this is answering someone else's question too. I was a cosmetologist. I did hair and makeup at a really nice salon. I went to cosmetology school at an Aveda school that I loved and it was so much fun. And it was just a really, really great experience. And then I started working at this salon and it was a really great experience too. I was actually an apprentice for a little bit and then I did hair on my own for a couple years there at the salon too. And someone else asked if I still do hair or anything and I really don't. I do my mom's hair or Joshua's hair or my brother's hair with people in my family and stuff, but um, I don't really do it anymore. Sorry guys, I'm kind of digging in because I know these are questions that people asked, but um, it just kind of got to the point at the salon where I don't know why, but I just kind of felt led out of that. It was like a couple months right before Joshua and I were getting married. It was kind of crazy that I just decided that I wasn't gonna do it anymore because we were just getting married. Like we weren't 100% financially stable or anything like that. So um, the extra money probably would have helped. But for some reason I had been praying about it and I just kind of felt completely led out of that job. And I really wasn't like that passionate about it or anything anymore. There's people outside and my dog is going to go crazy at them. <laughs> So yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was just kind of, I, I really honestly believe to this day that it was just a God thing because nothing bad happened at the salon. There were a lot of really great people there. Um, it was a fun environment, but for some reason I just felt kind of led out of that right before we got married. Then I started my YouTube channel. I had no idea what I was doing, but I'm really glad that I did it and I don't have any regrets about 
making that decision. I'm so happy that I did. So anyway, the question was, what would I be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube? I don't know. I might still be doing hair and makeup. I really have no clue what I would be doing because I wouldn't want to be doing anything but this because I love this so much and it's so much fun. So I don't know. I have no clue. I have really thought about it because I don't want to do anything other than this. Okay, another big question. Several people asked, what does Joshua do? So Joshua is actually a general contractor and I feel like I've talked about this before in a video, but maybe I haven't. But for those of you that don't know, we are doing a lot of remodeling to our house right now. And because of his job, it does make it a lot easier to do that. Um, to do those res renovations to our house right now because he knows a lot of people in the business and we can get some pretty good deals and stuff like that. He doesn't actually go in and like do the work himself. He has people do it, but he does a lot of remodeling, a lot of like insurance restoration, stuff like that. Another question people were asking was how did we meet? They also asked um, when did I know that Joshua was the one. So Joshua and I actually met at church. He wasn't actually going to the church I was going to, which I didn't know that at first because he was still in college at the time but we were kind of helping out at like it was kind of like a vacation Bible school for kids and I saw him he was like the mascot so he was in a costume and we kept catching eye contact and I saw him and I was like hmm that guy might be kind of cute under all that <laughs> but yeah so we never talked that day and I was hoping I would see him like Sunday at church or something and I never saw him come to find out he was still in college She wasn't even going to that church. He was just there to help that weekend, but a friend ended up kind of like hooking us up and We talked on the phone for like six hours for the first time and then we just knew it was kind of crazy We ended up getting engaged like five months after we met he was still in college and Then nine months after we got engaged. I think it was nine months um, We ended up getting married so looking back, I'm just like, wow, that was really crazy that we did that because I feel like I'm the type of person where I don't love change. Change kind of scares me and I like to have everything like really planned out. But for some reason, like that part of my life, I was all in with Joshua. Like when I met him, he was so much different than anyone else I had ever met. I just loved him. I loved his heart, how funny he was. We have the exact same like morals and that was really important to me and he just loved Jesus so much and that's what I wanted. I wanted somebody that would inspire me to love Jesus more and be a better person and just be my partner and that's what he is. He's perfect and I couldn't imagine my life without him. Okay, we got a lot of questions about babies. When are we having kids? Are we even gonna have kids? All that type of stuff. So Joshua and I want to have a family at some point. Right now, it's just us and our dog, dude which we love, he's our baby. So we definitely want to have kids at some point, but we're not in a hurry. And we just feel like when it's God's timing, it will happen. So we definitely see kids in our future, but we're not in any rush. We're really enjoying being dog parents right now. And we wouldn't mind having another dog first before the next season of our life with real babies <laughs> but definitely when that time comes and when that time happens i'm gonna share that journey with you guys on my channel i think it'll be really fun and really exciting so i did get a lot of questions about our dog dude lots of questions people are like how's dude we miss seeing him in videos so dude is great he's so fluffy right now he really needs a haircut but he's doing great. We have so much fun with him. I would say Joshua and I love being dog parents. We're kind of obsessed with our dog, which I'm sure if any of you have a dog, you're probably obsessed with your dog too. But I have done quite a few videos with my dog on this channel. I kind of stopped and hesitated just because I was feeling like the dog videos weren't really going with what I was doing here on my channel, like the shopping, the girly stuff my house updates, all that. And so I was really feeling inspired like the past few months to start another channel and have it be a dog channel. I love making videos about our dog. I have so much fun with it. I'm super passionate about that. And I think it would be really, really fun. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but it's something that I really wanna do. And guys, if you would enjoy that, 
please leave a comment down below and let me know if you would watch and subscribe. I think I just need a little kick in the butt to just do it. Another question was, will we get another dog? I think Joshua and I would love to get another dog. We have so much fun with dude and I think he would really like a fur sibling. So I just think it would be really cute. I don't know if we would get a girl or a boy yet. So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have a dog. Do you guys know, is it, does it matter if you get another boy dog? Dude's not too dominant or anything like that, but I don't know if it would be good to get like a boy or girl dog. So let me know what you guys think. I got a lot of questions about our house too. I've posted a couple of videos about our house and about the renovations that we're doing. So people are wondering, when are we gonna get the next home updates video and it's actually going to be the next video that I film. So it will be up after this video and I'm really excited because our floors are in, all of our trims up, it's painted, our countertop came and I really want to share all that with you guys. We still have a lot of stuff that we have to do but I just kind of needed a break from doing all of the home renovations because people were in and out of our house every single day. It was just becoming a lot and with the dog and everything. I was like, okay, we need to just take a break. We were going at it really hard for like maybe a month and a half, two months. I love sharing that stuff with you guys here on my channel. So I'm gonna have more of it and it's gonna be my next video. I'll be sharing all of my house updates with you guys. Someone else asked, how did I get inspiration for my house and what I wanna do? So that was really hard because I feel like on Pinterest, I cannot find what I like for my house. I feel like Pinterest is really oversaturated with like all of the farmhouse decor, which I think is really, really pretty, but it's just not what I was planning on doing in this house. I wanted to do a little bit more modern, really clean, minimal. I love restoration hardware. I feel like I get a lot of inspiration from restoration hardware. I love everything there, but it's so expensive. So it's kind of hard to find things that you like just as much as that, but are cheaper. <laughs> So um, we do have our table coming. That's from West Elm. It looks a lot like a table from Restoration Hardware. I was actually just at the Restoration Hardware outlet the other day, which was really cool because I had never been there before. Mainly Restoration Hardware though is where I gotta get a lot of my inspiration. <laughs> Some other people were asking about my hair. I get a lot of questions about my hair in almost every single one of my videos. And people want to um, see like a new or updated hair routine. I've been doing the same thing to my hair for a few years now. I will share a hair routine, and I know I keep saying that, and sorry, my dog is barking outside, but I hesitate about doing a hair routine as well just because I know everybody's hair is different and what works for me might not work for them, but I will do it, and I really should do it because I keep saying that I will. So I'm gonna put that on my list. I have to do that video. Okay, somebody else asked, what is my favorite physical quality about, my, about myself and what is my, so what is my favorite and what is my least favorite physical quality about myself? Whew, that is a hard one to answer. I would say like least favorite is probably my nose. I feel like I have a very unique, different nose and I've never liked it, but I don't think I would ever get a nose job or anything like that um, because I just feel like this is the nose that I've always had and really at this point, if I were to get a nose job, it would be pretty obvious to people. So yeah, I don't think I would ever like get plastic surgery or anything like that. Not saying that I think plastic surgery is bad if that's what you wanna do, or if you've done that before, I hold no judgment against you. Like, you know, do what you want. I don't really care about that stuff. I just don't think that I would do it. So I don't know, it's kind of funny because I have some people that will leave like mean comments and be like, get a nose job or something. And it's like, if I were to actually go out and get a nose job, then I would have people commenting, I can't believe you got a nose job. That was so terrible of you to do. So either way, like you'll never make people happy. And, um, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. But my favorite quality, physical quality about myself, maybe my hair, I really like my hair. Um, I like my eyes too. I think there's definitely more things I like about myself than don't like. <laughs> I think the last question that I will answer is do I have any future plans or what are my New Year's resolutions? So just in general, I had a lot of New Year's resolutions this year, but I wanna grow my channel 
and I would love to maybe start another channel, maybe the dog channel or something like that. Please let me know if you guys would watch that or subscribe. I want to grow closer to the Lord. I would love to share more about Jesus here on my channel because I think that's why I'm here on earth is to share about Jesus Christ and I think it's the most important thing in life. So I would definitely like to share more about my faith on my channel. I'm gonna eat healthier, I'm gonna work out more, um, just stuff like that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what types of videos you guys wanna see this year. If you guys wanna see more like vlog, casual type videos, if you just wanna see shopping on hauls, if you wanna see dog stuff, if you wanna see more lifestyle, like routine type things. Um, if you wanna see more of Joshua, um, let me know. I would love to know what you guys wanna see um, cause I am putting together you know, a lot of videos that I wanna do this year. Also, let me know what some of your New Year's resolutions are. I think it would be really fun to hear some of those. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this Q&A video, liked kind of getting to know me a little bit better, please make sure to click that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you're new. It would mean so much to me. Also, don't forget, guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to because that's how I asked you guys all these questions was on Instagram stories so we can kind of stay connected. You guys can see. I always post like little things about our house or our dog um, on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there too. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video.